Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the use of the Vaping Community Guest e-liquid calculator. I'm Walt the Smiling Ogre and I'm going to guide you through using the Create Recipe page step by step. I really doubt creating a recipe could be any easier than by doing it inside of this particular calculator. We can start out simply by putting in our recipe name. I've used this before as a demonstration, that's why you can see it coming up in there in the bottom. And the amount to make, in other words, how much you're going to make in a batch. I'm going to make 125 milliliters. Here's the desired VG. Now this is actually your PG-VG ratio, so you don't have to type in the um, PG portion of it. The calculator will automatically figure that out for you. I use 50-50. I'm going to put in that 50%. Desired strength. How strong do I want the nicotine to be in my vape in milligrams per milliliters? And I use two. The nicotine strength is how you purchase your nicotine. So I purchase mine at 100 milligrams per milliliter. And the PG in nicotine is how much of the carrier, okay, in the uh, in the nicotine that you purchase is actually PG. Mine is 100%. I'm going to leave it right there. If you purchase it in VG, you'd put zero in here. If you purchase it in some blend, obviously, you'd put in the uh, percentage of PG that was in that blend. And you can see already, okay, we're developing... Okay, the basis of a mix over here. Okay, everything is being calculated as we go along. Here's a checkbox. We can check that. If you want to make a zero nicotine uh, mix, it's real, real simple to do. Check that, and it's instantly, it instantly goes to zero. I'm going to uncheck that. Now, this is going to go back to the original when I do that, but I'm going to show you another way yet to uh, change that, and that's go into use pre-mix base. So down here are some of your more popular PG-VG ratios. And of course mine's in there as well, that 50-50. So I'll click that. Okay. And that automatically updates nicotine in here. Okay. It automatically updates your pre-base. Everything's all taken care of for you. Now I'm going to go into add a flavor. And for this particular one, the first flavor that I use is a strawberry. And I like to use the in the strawberry in Warna in a Warna. And I use that at 3%. We'll add another flavor. And that's also a strawberry. And that's the red touch by Flavor Art. Now, if you go looking in there and you can't find okay the flavor that you're looking for, you can always put in anything you want. Groovy flavor number one and of course give it a percentage and that'll work too okay so I'm gonna put that at three that's how I use it this one I'm gonna put in sweetener and I use this uh, sucralose sweetener okay that's vapable and that goes in at a 0.5. Now that's my recipe. It's a real simple recipe. But you can see everything's already calculated for you here. Everything's taken care of. You can go ahead at this point in time and um, mix this. You can also create a screenshot. Okay. And you can download that screenshot. I'll click on that so you can see it. And there we go. So that way you can print it off or you can save it to your hard drive if you want to keep a copy of it, whatever you want to do there. Because obviously within or online, you can't save it as a guest. Um, if in effect you were registered, that's um, a little more entailed, but then you could save a recipe. Now, if you don't find a flavor and you really think it should be in there, you can also click on this. It'll take you to a page on the forum where you can suggest having that added to that uh, database of flavors.
So there you go. That's it. Real simple, real easy, real quick. Very, very nice calculator. A uh, wonderful addition um, to your arsenal of tools. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you again soon.